Hi, I am Jennifer Davidson. I am Associate Professor of Theology and Worship here at American Baptist Seminary of the West. I'm really happy to talk with you for a little bit about why I do what I do and why I hope that matters. Um, as someone who teaches theology and worship here at ABSW, um, there are three things that I like to keep in mind. One is that uh, theology is a matter of life and death. The other is that my students, when they walk in the door, are already theologians. And the last is we need sustenance for the journey uh, as we move along and trying to think of ways that I can encourage my students to seek that sustenance along the way. So theology is a matter of death. It may sound um, a little melodramatic, but I think it's actually true. Uh, Theology is the way that we understand who God is, what our relationship is with God, and how that relationship affects our relationships with one another. Um, when we have a robust theolo theology that um, is in fact life-giving and life-sustaining, then that invites others into life-giving and life-sustaining ways. We can also do theology in ways that are harmful to ourselves and to others, and actually engage in some ways in death dealing, uh, in things that separate us, divide us, and um, destroy sometimes bodies, sometimes souls, um, sometimes both. And this is why um, we need to work together to really uh, come to um, developing robust theologies that are life-giving for us, for all of creation. So the second thing that I think is really important is that I like my students to understand that they do not become theologians uh, by entering seminary. They become theologians by entering the waters of baptism. They come to us already as theologians with a lifetime of experiences that inform their theologies. And, um, and what seminary does is really give them an opportunity to craft their theology, to hone their skills as a theologian, to introduce them to more resources along the way that they can draw on as they develop their theologies. Um, I would like for them to step into the responsibility of being a theologian, along with really the joy of being a theologian, of having the opportunity to invite others into life-sustaining relationships with the divine. Speaking of life-sustaining, this is the third thing that I am passionate about, and that is how do we sustain ourselves for the long journey of discipleship? And I think that when you have a robust theology, you are really impelled into the world to seek social justice. And that work is hard work. Uh, it is a work that brings us directly into um, touch with the deepest needs and broken places of the world, which is really our own deepest needs and our own broken places. So how do we sustain ourselves for this work over time? That's one reason that I am writing a book right now on uh, baptism and communion and looking at these familiar rites as uh, opportunities to uh, provide us with the sustenance that we need. So when we remember our baptism, how does that memory of God's gracious action in our lives give us a way of really connecting into justice work through a lens of grace and mercy? And how does the repeated meal of communion give us the sustenance we need to not only become the body of Christ in the world, but to go out into the world expecting to meet the broken and resurrected body of Christ as well? These are the things that are important to me, that theology is a matter of life and death, that my students are theologians, that we are theologians by virtue of our baptism, and that in fact baptism and communion are ways that we can be sustained for the long journey of being disciples of Christ and being theologians in life-giving ways.